guys so in some of the video we took you guys inside and we actually took the day tour we actually came back at night time just to check it out and show you guys more of the actual building pretty much open to the public but not um, the other parts of like H block and B block that we showed you that's actually closed off to the public um, but you can book a tour to go on I'll show you what it looks like. We'll take you around right now. So it goes all the way down there. And as you can see, it's basically like a castle. Just get a water. This is the front. This used to be the front of the prison. So we'll just walk you through on top there where those three windows are it actually used to be a door oh <laughs> give you guys a little insight here you got things so that you don't know if you zoom in if you just zoom in right there there's a white line where um he kind of had like a balcony that comes out and that's the old waters the warden the big dog to the left there that would have been diamond cell <laughs> the warden's <laughs> best friend <laughs> Be a little bumper. <laughs> be like a platform that he used to come out and address his what screws, his wa waters. Yeah, his water, <laughs> his water. So yeah, the guards used to stay in that building right there, and they used to come out, stand here, and the warden will address them in the morning. So we got a watchtower up there. Let's just get a bit closer. I'm a little bit scared. So it's locked up right now. Oh shit, now I'm a bit scared. <laughs> Anyways, let's go in. So if you were to escape, you gotta try to get past this wall and then past that wall over there. These white concrete slabs here, it represents pretty much where the prisoners used to line up for muster. There's a shopping centre over there. You do your biops in an actual IGA. So where are we going to now? So I'm going to take you to... Um, this is where I started off first when I first came in. Isn't that the bone now? E Division, sorry. E Division. E for excellence. <laughs> e Division here, as you can see. It's pretty much closed off right now. But, Excellent um, inmates. 
yeah so this is where all the excellent um, inmates come when they first come in they pretty much put you in here and to see what talents you have first before they building that's still currently standing some of the divisions or blocks um, have been demolished to put in parks which is really weird because I know why you want to bring to you your children to play at an old prison so this is B division you want to show you guys here you can take a look can you come in cameraman so that <laughs> Stop. It was the priest's office. He was a Catholic priest. So the priest had a really good relationship with the prisoners. They pretty much trusted him. And for a long time, drugs and other things used to get into the prison. And the warden and the guards used to wonder how um, the prisoners were bringing contraband in. The prisoners used to use an excuse that they wanted to come see the priest and they'll use his phone. They'll make calls to their mates on the outside and that's how they were getting it in. Drugs used to be brought in with like tennis balls, thrown over the fences and that. No, the priest didn't give them up. He just made up an excuse. Yeah, so the priest pretty much like put out um, like a little rumor that um, the phones were tapped and that's pretty much how they stopped that.
So, we're just going to take you guys onto another entrance. It's not really entrance because it's closed off. But behind these walls right here um, is the women's prison. The women's prison is back here. You can see people try to already get in. This is, I don't know if you guys can see that, women's sides of the prison. I'm not sure if they're going to turn that into anything. It's pretty much abandoned right now. Fuck, you're, you're playing around too much. I know damn well you're scared. I am scared. Can you see that? <sighs> Fuck. The way that this place is built and just the way that it's like, I know. Bruh. See, this is the side of the prison that we didn't come in. It's actually empty. Anyways, guys, so the cops just rocked up, rocked up and asked us to leave the premises. Taking cards. <laughs> Special effects, you know. This is a car park, man. So this is like a lot of the infrastructure of the prison still here. And at the same time, there's apartments. No, excuse me, back it up, please. As you can see, it's a residential area now. Welcome to Pentridge. Is what's your take on money? Sorry. So what's your take on the prison? What what did you think? Oh, like ten out of ten. For you? Mm. No, I'm being serious. Well, no, it was a bit freaky, a bit spooky, a bit spooky, a bit freaky. I like it freaky. <laughs> but um. I don't know. Kind of reminded me of um, some parts of like Bathurst, Bathurst the, the cells and that. Mm. It reminded me of that, but the cells are a lot more smaller here than Bathurst. It's so tiny. Yeah, so, what would you recommend? Um, like tour of like or like the prison, the prison, the prison, the, the prison itself. Mm. Oh, I reckon it was. Um, they explained a lot. Um, but yeah, the tour guide really gave you a lot of information about the jail and how how it was built. Yeah, shout out to our tour guide. Oh, do you remember his name? Yeah, John. No, he's lying. He's lying. <laughs> I don't know if it was Adam. I kind of... Oh. No. I would rate this experience an 8. The mm. reason why I'm giving an 8 is more so, not so much of the prison more so of the tour guide um he was really informative uh, like he had a lot of good stories and the way he um explained like the information on our tour he was actually amazing um but yeah he was really nice and it was really he was really good for the prison itself i think because a lot of the prison has been um demolished and also renewed i for a prison tour didn't really like it um yeah it's basically for the fact that it's been renewed and a lot of the um areas have been like demolished so it's pretty fancy in there so if you're looking mm. for something that's more like eerie and like uh, more like ghost tour kind of like experienced in probably the night tour the day tour it was only it was only good we expected a bit more of like we didn't think that it was renovated and all that stuff and you had hotels, um, you had like an IGA in there, cinemas and all that. Trudge, the experience, um, I felt more scared coming at night time and doing our own little tour, to be honest, if there was like, yeah, it is a bit more scary at night time. Mm. I could just imagine what it would be like inside the cells at night. If you guys want to come check it out for yourselves, definitely come down and see. So we're heading home now. I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. We are planning to do Melbourne Jail. Hopefully that one's a bit better. Um, and also the Asylum. Sus doesn't want to go there, but I said, you've been to prison before. How bad is that abandoned asylum? Like, oh. Uh, I think the bombing is doing that. Well, I want to go hunt them down. I want to go ghost hunting. But I yeah. They come hunting you. I know. Yeah, there's been weird things happening ever since we came. Ever since we came.
like that just happening hopefully you guys enjoy this video we're going to do like a lot more of these type of videos where we take you around melbourne and like give you kind of like history to what the f is that all right i want to go home now well we're gonna pray <laughs> we're going we're going to pray all the way home now because it is a bit like uh, especially going past the women's prison was a bit more scarier than mm -hmm. the rest of it h block inside is scary yes but i hope that they turn like the women's prison side into just a tour just leave it untouched mm. that's the only thing i disliked about this place was like it was fancy why is the light dimming in and out all right guys we'll see you guys on the can you see it yeah all right okay we'll if see there's you a spirit in here please get out please leave and just stay here and rest in peace enjoy the other people all the balangis that's going on that tour right now go home with them <laughs> we don't want no part of this i know we only came here to take a tour car. the only reason why we laughed is because we're scared you guys on the next video if we make it <laughs> if you don't see another video from us something happened